Hello and welcome back. Mm -hmm. So now that we have, hopefully you have, uh, you've created an account with uh, this hosting service here and you have your free website over here. Now I didn't give mine a name and this is what I have here for some reason. Uh, it was named uh, some cement, I think it's advertising or something. But this is the link to my uh, website here. So what I will do is click manage website here. I'll click there and it will take me to the uh, dashboard of this website here. Okay, this is the one. So statistics here and we have website builder. You can install WordPress, etc., etc. But what we're interested in is the file manager. So I'm just going to right click on the dashboard because I want a second version of this. And on this one, I will click on file manager. So once I get here, I will click on upload files because I want to see the actual file manager. And then back here to the dashboard, I will click on MySQL database. Okay. Right, so here I can create a new database. So let me click on create new. So a database name, we're just going to call it eShop underscore DB. The username for our database uh, will be root. Let's add a password. Uh, let's add root. Now in a normal situation, you would obviously uh, add better passwords. Now you can randomize the password here and show the password and just copy it. It's not really a big deal because you don't have to remember this password. Uh, you can add it directly to your document like that. So it's not a big deal. So let's add that root and then create. Okay. Loading. Okay. There we go. So while this is happening, let's go to our local host and click on our database and let's export what we have currently here. So I'm just going to say, um, go to export here, export. And then once I get here, make sure SQL is selected and click go. We are not changing anything. We're just exporting everything as it is. So now that I have exported this. I can now grab that file and import it in uh, here. So let's come back to databases. And this is the database here. So now, as you can see, it has had it, it has added an ID here because this is shared hosting. So they don't want to repeat database names. So they make sure they add a prefix at the beginning. So that's the prefix there. So this is our real uh, database name now and that's the password and the user is um, let's come back here for a second root as well has been added uh, a prefix has been added there as well so let's copy that as well and create database creating database done okay there we go so the database is done now the host name is localhost so great Let's come back here and put that there. Good. So we have all the details here. We have our password. We have the database name, the user and the hosting name. Good. So now when we click here and say manage, we can click and go to PHP, my admin of that database. So there we're going to import our data from the local host system. Okay. Okay. So while this is happening, because this loading is pretty slow, what I will do is go to my folder. Uh, I'm just going to right click and open containing folder here. Okay. So in here, this see, these are my files. Okay. So these two files. So what I will do here, this is my app folder. This is my public folder. So all I'm going to do is, uh, add these to an archive. So I'll add them separately, the public folder, I'll add zip. And I will do the same, add to archive for app and do a zip as well. 
like that. Okay, great. Now we're not going to use FTP for uh, sending the information. We're just going to use the file manager here. So this is the PHP my admin of the live hosting. So I have my database here, so I'm going to click on it. Okay. And then I will go to the import here. Loading, loading, loading. Eh, it takes a while. And I'll hit browse here. Now I need to find the exported version of my SQL document. So I know it's called eShop DB SQL. And I'm just going to open that and click go. So this will begin the process of importing my database from localhost to the online version. Okay, so this is going to take a little bit of a while. So while this is happening, we can go to our file manager. So where is the file manager here? This is the one. So now make sure that uh, now keep in mind that when you when we were actually let's go back to eShop here for a second. This is the mistake that I made. So when I um, when I was uh, exporting the public folder, I was outside the public folder here when I was zipping it. So what this means is that if I extract this folder here, it's going to extract a folder within within itself. So it's going to add the public folder there. But I already have the public folder created here. This one I cannot edit. So I think the best way to do it, the app for the app folder, it's okay because we, we don't have this app folder already there. But the public folder we do have. So what I could do instead is go inside this folder. There are actually files that I don't need here. Or maybe do I? I don't know. So what I can do in here is um, let me add everything except the there's an HT access file already in here if I am not mistaken. Let me open that folder to see. I think there actually is one. So what I will do is, it's easy to upload one file. So to avoid replacing any files, what I will do is select all these, right click and say add to archive and just put that as a zip folder like so. So this is the public I'm going to use, which doesn't have a public folder inside it. So I will delete the one that is outside here to avoid, to avoid confusion. And then I'll come back here. Uh, it seems uh, the either the internet is uh, broken or something weird going on. Meanwhile, here, all tables have been imported successfully here. So I have my database here, which is awesome. Okay. So meanwhile, while we wait for the uh, for this to load, let me click here again. Let me refresh the page just in case. So what we can do is go to our connection section here. So inside up and let's go to core and let's go to uh, config right here. So this is where we config our system. Now, what I want to do is to be able to just upload these files because if I upload the files the way they are right now, this file the way it is, uh, it's going to to fail to connect because these are not the connection variables, right? But then if I change these to the online version, then I won't be able to edit it once I am on the localhost version. So a trick that I normally use is to put an if statement here. So I'm just going to say if server like that. Yeah, then I can say server name be equal to localhost like that. So if the server name is localhost, then we can use these credentials, no problem, like this. Then I will copy this and do an else statement right there, paste that. And this is anything else is this. So at this point, I can easily copy the content from here, go back. Let me put that on the password here. Let's go back and put this on the database name. Where is the database name here? 
let's put this on the user where are you mr user there we go okay that looks good the host is still localhost save that very good now that we've saved that it means our zip is pointless so let's delete that and create a new zip add to archive zip okay great meanwhile let's check if things are okay here let me click here to open the public html good so you see there's an ht access file there there's also an index page let's delete this index page we don't need it so delete that guy delete okay deleting deleting very good all right so everything is ready now to begin uploading our files okay so i'm just going to start the uploading process and <clears throat> we'll leave it there and finish on the other side so here i'm on the i'm inside this uh, ht public html so i will just uh, say upload files here select files and then i will go and select my file here I will navigate to where I have my uh, ZAMP, ZAMP, HT Docs, eShop, and I have my app right there. So I'm just actually in here, I want to upload the public uh, version there and uh, just say upload. Okay, so while it's uploading here, uh, we can end here for now, and I will see you in the next video.